Good morning children. Welcome to my class. The Kite. Yes, it's the poem too in a honeysuckle book at page number 27. You all must know how to fly a kite and most of us do especially during the season, right? Which season? Around Makkah Sankranti, right? So the kite flying will be so much fun when you especially know how to fly a kite. Isn't it children? Yeah. So today I'm going to take you through a beautiful poem called Kite. Let's see how is it going to be very beautiful. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new? How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new? So what does that mean? How bright on the blue? So it means the kite is very bright and it is on the blue which means it is on the sky. It looks so bright, isn't it? Yeah, when the sky is very clear, that's when we fly a kite and it is very bright over there. It's a kite when it's new, especially when you fly a very new kite. How bright or the blue is a kite when it's new. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail. What does it mean? With a dive and a dip. So here it means dive. It's a verb which means a swimmer when he takes a dive from the platform to, towards its pool. Yeah, into the pool. That's called a dive. Okay, that's a verb. Just like that, the kite when it's flying so high, it takes a dive. A little dip in it. Okay, it comes a little lower and then with its snap, it snapped its tail. It has a tail. You can see that green, right? It has a tail and it snaps its tail and again it goes up. How does it goes up? Let's see. Then soars like a ship with only a sail. So you know, you all know how does a ship, a boat especially, sails? Yeah, it has a sail. Okay, you can see that uh, rectangular cloth part. Yeah, so that's called a sail. When the wind hits the sail, the boat moves forward. The boat moves forward. That's called a sail. Okay, then sows like a ship with only a sail. As over tides of wind it rides. Okay, especially when it's very windy or when there's a strong current, that's the tide waves, okay, wave current. That's how the sail helps the ship or a boat to move, right? Just like that, our kite also soars very high in the sky. Climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls, then seems to rest at wind falls. Climbs to the crest. What do you mean by crest here, children? Crest means the top of a mountain or hill. Okay. Climbs to the crest. The kite has no limit, right? Like how a sky has no limit. Just like that, the kite has no limit. Here, the kite climbs to the crest. It means it can also move above the top of the mountain hill of a gust and pulls. What do you mean by gust here? Gust is a sudden strong rush of wind. Sudden strong rush of wind. Okay. So here it climbs to the crest and with the, because there's a sudden strong rush of wind, it can actually pull the kite over the top of the hill and pulls. It keeps pulling them. Then what happens? Then seems to rest at wind falls and uh, then seems to rest as wind falls. It means all of a sudden when the wind stops, it is also looks like the kite is taking a rest over there. It doesn't fall all of a ease all all of a sudden so easily, but it takes a rest, a moment's rest over there. Okay, so here again I'm saying climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls, then seems to rest as wind falls. When string goes slack, you wind it back. When string goes slack, 
you went it back and run until a new breeze blows and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes and its wings fill and up it goes so what does it mean here when string goes slack you wind it back it means when string the string which is attached to the kite when it gets loosened when it gets loosened you wind it back you wind it back how are you going to wind it back you will have to run a little okay and run until a new breeze blows you'll have to run a little so when you run there's supposed to be a wind a gentle wind coming up right so that is called as a new breeze it's called as a new breeze which blows okay and its wings fill when you run a new breeze blows and what has what does it do it fills the wings it fills the wings and up it goes and up it goes how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new but a raggedy thing you never will see but a raggedy thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree so what does it mean a raggedy thing it's a rag thing it's a torn thing okay but a raggedy thing you will never see see when a kite especially it's torn you don't wish to see it isn't it children you feel it's so bad to look at a torn kite okay so you don't want to see it's an awful sight when you see a kite is torn right but a raggedy thing you will never see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree especially when you are in a competition or something okay the string when it get intertwined what happens one string cuts the other one and what happens there is no hope of the kite flying it just falls on the tree and it gets torn isn't it that's when you can't take your mind to it you can't take your mind to it okay it actually saddens your heart when you see a kite being torn off it actually saddens your heart when a kite is being torn off you understood children the poem is how the kite rose up okay when it so so up in the sky how beautifully it is imagining that it is taking a flight over there and how does the wind and all helps it to fly but what happens when when do you get saddened over there when it flaps on a string and it falls over a tree so i'll quickly take you back towards it okay let's see from the beginning what happens how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new it is showing the excitement okay that is why we have used an exclamatory mark over there it's so exciting to see a kite that is a bright new kite on the sky okay the blue sky when the dive and the dip it snaps a tail okay how does it move how does it work there on the sky with a dive and a dip it snaps a tail okay when it's moving dive and the dip it snaps a tail that is how it keeps moving how does it move okay just like our ship sail then soars like a ship with only a sail then soars like a ship with only a sail as over tides of wind it rides okay just when like how the wind hits the sail the boat moves forward just like that with a dive and a dip it snaps a tail that's how a kite moves climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls okay with the wind's help okay it can also climb to the crest what do you mean by crest again okay the top of the hill or mountain okay of a gust and pull with a sudden rush of wind it goes up there okay it keeps pulling the string up there then seems to rest at wind falls and over there it looks like a moment time it takes a rest because the wind is rest at a rest over there 
when string goes slack you wind it back okay when string goes slack when the string okay the string which is connected to the kite gets loosened you should wind it back and how are you supposed to do and run until a new breeze blows and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes okay so when you run a little the wind is being okay you create a small gentle wind over there and that breeze okay fills the wings of the kite and it starts going up again how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new it's again repetitive so it is showing a stress over how beautiful is the kite when it's new okay so again why these lines are repeated over here is you should always know when the kite is very new it is an exciting scene but what happens but a raggedy thing you will you never will see but a raggedy thing you never will see okay see when it is bright it's new and we are so happy to see but when it is ragged you don't want to see it at all and when does that happen when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree that's all about the poem the kite let's see the summary the summary of the poem is the kite looks bright when it is in the blue sky it dives dips snaps and soars like a ship riding on the wind the kite reaches to the crest immediately with a sudden gust it takes rest and with the fall of the wind it goes loose then with the help of a new breeze again it goes up it seems to us to be ragged when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree so this poem is written by harry behan and i have also included the picture of him so that's all today children so it's there in a page number 27 of our honey suckle book so read the poem thoroughly and if you have any doubt you can always contact me thank you so much